When they reach altitude, the pilots can't believe their eyes. The lines and shapes cover an area that stretches for hundreds of square miles. There are spirals, zigzags, there are drawings of birds, spiders, monkeys, immense in scale. Google's AI has cracked the code. The Nazca lines, Peru's most enduring mystery, are no longer a secret. For years, we've stared at these colossal figures from airplanes wondering what they could possibly mean. We've speculated about aliens, ancient astronauts, and forgotten rituals. But the truth is far more incredible and far more terrifying. The AI has revealed a hidden pattern, a secret language in the lines that points to a purpose so audacious it's almost unbelievable. Many people are crazy about the Nazca lines, but they're about to get a whole lot crazier. The Google Brain in the Peruvian Plain. A team of researchers from Yamagata University in Japan, in collaboration with IBM and Google, decided to apply cutting-edge artificial intelligence to this ancient puzzle. They fed the AI high-resolution aerial photographs and satellite imagery of the Nazca region, a massive data set that would take a human researcher a lifetime to analyze. The AI, however, could process it in a fraction of the time. Its mission, to find new, previously undiscovered geoglyphs, and find them it did. The AI identified 143 new figures hidden in plain sight, their forms eroded by time and weather. But here's where it gets really interesting. The AI didn't just find new drawings, it started to see patterns, connections that had eluded human eyes for centuries. It saw that the lines were not randomly placed. They were part of a sophisticated network a grid of interconnected pathways and figures that seem to have a deliberate, calculated design. The things nobody tells you is that the Nazca people were not just artists, they were engineers, astronomers, and mathematicians of the highest order. The AI's analysis revealed that many of the lines were aligned with celestial bodies, with the solstices and equinoxes. They were, in effect, a giant astronomical calendar a tool for tracking the seasons and predicting celestial events. This was a game changer. It meant that the Nazca people had a deep understanding of the cosmos, a knowledge that was far more advanced than previously believed. They weren't just creating pretty pictures in the desert, they were mapping the heavens. But that's not all. The AI also discovered that many of the lines pointed to sources of water to underground aquifers and subterranean rivers. In a region as arid as the Nazca Plains, where water is more precious than gold, this was a discovery of monumental importance. It suggested that the lines were not just a calendar, but also a map, a guide to the life-giving resources that were essential for survival. But the AI's most startling discovery was yet to come. It found that some of the lines were not aligned with stars or water sources at all. They pointed to something else entirely, something that had been hidden from us for over 2,000 years. What the AI found was not a map to a place, but to a time, a specific moment in history when the gods demanded rain. Many people are crazy about the idea of ancient aliens, but the truth about the Nazca lines is far more terrestrial and far more terrifying. The AI's analysis of the newly discovered geoglyphs combined with a re-examination of the known figures revealed a disturbing pattern. The animal figures, the monkeys, the spiders, the hummingbirds were not just representations of the local fauna. They were symbols, icons of a powerful and pervasive water cult. You see, the Nazca civilization was at the mercy of the elements. They lived in one of the driest places on Earth, a region that receives less than an inch of rainfall a year. Their very existence depended on their ability to find and manage water. And so they developed a complex system of underground aqueducts known as puquios to tap into the subterranean rivers that flowed beneath the desert. These puquios were an engineering marvel, a testament to the Nazca people's ingenuity and resourcefulness. But the puquios were more than just a source of water. They were sacred places, 
The focal point of a religious cult that dominated every aspect of Nazca society. The Nazca people believed that the gods controlled the water and that these gods had to be appeased with elaborate rituals and offerings. And that's where the geoglyphs come in. The AI's analysis showed that the animal figures were not just random drawings, but representations of the gods and spirits that the Nazca people believed inhabited the underworld. The source of all water. The monkey, with its prehensile tail, symbolized the winding course of the underground rivers. The spider, a creature that lives in dark, damp places, represented the hidden sources of water. The hummingbird, a bird that can fly backward and hover in place, symbolized the ability to find water in the most unlikely of places. The lines, the straight geometric pathways that connect the figures, were ceremonial walkways. The Nazca people would walk along these lines in a trance-like state as part of their rituals to appease the water gods. They would make offerings, perform dances, and perhaps even engage in more sinister practices. The things nobody tells you is that the Nazca lines were not just a calendar or a map. They were a place of worship, a giant open-air temple dedicated to the gods of water. But the AI also discovered something else, something that hinted at a darker side to this water cult. It found that some of the lines were not pathways at all, they were something else, something far more disturbing. The lines were not a celebration of life, but a monument to its end. When the earth drank blood. But not all things are what they seem. While the Nazca lines were a testament to the Nazca people's ingenuity, they also held a dark secret, a secret that has been buried in the desert sands for centuries. The AI's analysis of the geoglyphs combined with archaeological evidence from the region has painted a chilling picture of a society that was not just obsessed with water, but with something far more macabre. You see among the animal figures and geometric shapes, the AI identified a new category of geoglyphs, figures that had been previously overlooked or misinterpreted. These were anthropomorphic figures, representations of human or human-like beings. But these were not ordinary humans. They were depicted with distorted features, with large staring eyes and mouths agape in a silent scream. And they were often shown holding what appeared to be severed heads. This was a shocking discovery, but it was not without precedent. Archaeologists have long known that the Nazca people practiced ritual head-taking. They have unearthed numerous Nazca cemeteries containing the remains of individuals who had been decapitated. The heads were often elaborately prepared with the skin and hair preserved and were sometimes buried with the deceased or kept as trophies. But the AI's discovery of the head-taking geoglyphs added a new and terrifying dimension to this practice. It suggested that head-taking was not just a sporadic or isolated phenomenon, but a central part of the Nazca water cult. The geoglyphs were not just representations of this practice, they were an integral part of it. They were, in effect, giant altars, places where human sacrifices were performed to appease the thirsty gods of the underworld. The lines, the straight geometric pathways, were not just for ceremonial processions. They were also used to transport the victims to the sacrificial sites. And the figures, the gruesome depictions of the head-taking gods, were there to witness the rituals, to receive the offerings of blood and life. The things nobody tells you is that the Nazca lines were not just a temple, they were a slaughterhouse. But the AI's most disturbing discovery was still to come. It found that the head-taking geoglyphs were not randomly placed. They were located at specific points in the Nazca grid, points that had a deep and terrifying significance. The altars were not just for the gods, they were for the stars. When the heavens demanded a head. Many people are crazy about the idea that the Nazca lines were created by aliens. But the truth is far more complex and far more disturbing. 
The AI's analysis of the head-taking geoglyphs combined with a deep dive into the Nazca people's understanding of astronomy has revealed a chilling connection between the heavens and the horrors that were taking place on the ground. You see, the Nazca people were not just skilled engineers and water worshipers. They were also master astronomers. They had a deep and sophisticated understanding of the movements of the stars and planets, and they used this knowledge to create a complex and terrifyingly precise celestial calendar. But this was not a calendar for planting crops or predicting the seasons. It was a calendar for human sacrifice. The AI's analysis showed that the head-taking geoglyphs were not randomly placed. They were aligned with specific stars and constellations, and they were designed to be activated at specific times of the year during specific celestial events. The Nazca people believed that the gods resided in the stars and that these gods demanded a steady supply of human heads to maintain the cosmic balance. The lines, the straight geometric pathways, were not just for transporting victims. They were also celestial sight lines, tools for tracking the movements of the stars and for determining the precise moment for a sacrifice. The figures, the gruesome depictions of the head-taking gods, were not just there to witness the rituals. They were also constellations celestial maps that guided the Nazca priests in their bloody work. The things nobody tells you is that the Nazca lines were not just a slaughterhouse, they were a cosmic clock, a terrifyingly precise machine for scheduling and carrying out human sacrifices. The Nazca people were not just killing their own people, they were doing it in accordance with a celestial timetable, a timetable that was written in the stars. But the AI's final revelation was the most shocking of all. It found that the Nazca lines were not just a record of the past, they were also a prediction of the future. The lines were not just about death, they were about a death, a specific catastrophic event that the Nazca people believed was coming. The end of the world as they knew it. But not all things are what they seem. The Nazca lines were not just a monument to a bloodthirsty cult, they were also a desperate attempt to avert a catastrophe, a catastrophe that the Nazca people believed was coming for them. The AI's analysis of the entire Nazca grid, the interconnected network of lines, figures, and sacrificial sites, has revealed a hidden prophecy, a chilling vision of the end of the world. You see, the Nazca people were living on borrowed time. They had built their civilization in one of the most inhospitable environments on Earth, and they knew that it could not last forever. They were at the mercy of the elements, and they believed that the gods who controlled the elements were fickle and unpredictable. They believed that one day the gods would turn against them, and that the world as they knew it would come to a fiery, apocalyptic end. And so they created the Nazca Lines, a giant open-air temple, a cosmic clock, and a machine for human sacrifice. They believed that by offering the gods a steady supply of human heads, they could appease their anger and delay the inevitable. They believed that by tracking the movements of the stars, they could predict the exact moment of the apocalypse, and that by performing their rituals at just the right time, they could avert the disaster. The things nobody tells you is that the Nazca lines were not just a record of the past. They were a desperate gamble on the future. The Nazca people were not just killing their own people, they were trying to save them. They were trying to buy time to hold back the forces of chaos and destruction that they believed were closing in on them. But in the end, their efforts were in vain. The AI's analysis of the Nazca grid has revealed a final chilling detail. The lines, the figures, the sacrificial sites, they all converge on a single point, a single moment in time. A moment that corresponds with a massive catastrophic El Nino event, a climate disaster that would have brought devastating floods and widespread famine to the Nazca region. The Nazca lines were not a prophecy of a future apocalypse, they were a record of a past one. 
a record of a civilization that was brought to its knees by the very forces of nature that it had tried so desperately to control. Is it possible that other ancient civilizations also used human sacrifice to try to control the weather? What other secrets are hidden in the sands of time? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more mind-blowing mysteries.